Hey, how's it going? Over the last couple of years here on YouTube, I've received lots of emails and private messages from Jehovah's Witnesses that contain various questions or comments and criticisms. And some of them are really frequently asked, so what I thought I'd start doing was making some videos and responding to these publicly as opposed to privately. So let me start with this one here. This says, Crosscheck. If you were honest with yourself, you would realize that the Jehovah's Witnesses are the one organization preaching the truth. Just looking at our growth alone is enough proof to the sincere seeker of truth that we are Jehovah's people. So to the people who write me this and, and tell me this, let me tell you that I have some good news for you. Then I have some bad news for you and some more bad news for you and some more bad news for you. But let me start off with the good news, and the good news is this. The Watchtower Society 100% agrees with you and backs you up completely on this statement. Let me quote the Watchtower from May 15th, 2001, where they say this. Consult the current yearbook of Jehovah's Witnesses and note the lands now reporting from 100,000 to nearly 1 million kingdom publishers. This is powerful proof that the kingdom preaching work is being blessed by Jehovah. So as you can see, the Watchtower Society 100% unequivocally backs you up on your point. Now the bad news begins here. The Watchtower Society is constantly contradicting themselves, and if you were honest with yourself, you would have to admit this was true as well. Now, just four months before writing this May 15th article, they said this in the January 15th, 2001 Watchtower magazine. It says, of course the number of those associated with Jehovah's Witnesses is not a criterion for determining if they enjoy divine favor. That, of course, would be blessing from Jehovah. Nor do statistics impress God. See, the beginning of the bad news is the Watchtower Society 100% agrees with you However, they 100% disagree with you as well. Now, do sincere seekers of truth, like you're asking me to be, really want to follow men who constantly contradict themselves and can't even keep things straight in a four-month period? Now, which is it, Watchtower? Is growth a signal and a sign of divine blessing, or is it not? Well, if the Watchtower Society actually went to the Bible and used a little bit of reason, they would have never said that growth was a sign of divine blessing. I mean, let's think about this for a minute. Jesus Christ was definitely blessed by Jehovah. He was definitely always faithful to Jehovah. But think of his organization, if you want to call it that for just a minute. You know, days before he was crucified, he sacrificed himself, he had thousands of people following him and hanging on his every word. However, at his ultimate act of faithfulness, his sacrifice, he was almost alone. Everybody, except for just a couple people, had abandoned him. Does that mean when Jesus was being faithful to God and sacrificing himself as God had willed him to do, that he didn't have his blessing anymore because his organization, if you want to call it that, shrunk? And even if you think about his preaching work, you know, think of John chapter 6. One minute he's got thousands following him, he says something hard like, eat my flesh and drink my blood, and everybody wants to walk away. You know, there's no way from the scriptures that you can possibly make the case that growth is a sign of divine blessing, unless you want to really isolate a couple scriptures here and there and see something described in scripture and automatically assume that it's prescribed in scripture. You know, I would tell you that Marilyn Manson can pack a convention center but that doesn't mean that the things that he sings about are true or somehow have Jehovah's blessing. Now, if you're one who is really convinced that Jehovah's Witnesses are blessed because of their growth, 
What about the other organizations that are growing even faster than Jehovah's Witnesses? You know, a 3% growth rate is really not all that impressive when it comes to religious organizations. There are religious organizations growing even faster than that right now as we speak. Are you going to be logically consistent and leave the watchtower and go join that organization because they're growing faster? I'm guessing you're not going to do that, so it makes me wonder why you would write things like this to me. If you really are a sincere seeker of truth and you want to find out how to enjoy Jehovah's divine blessing, I suggest that you put aside the organizations. I suggest that you put aside the Watchtower literature. I suggest that you pick up the scriptures and start to read it, because we begin to enjoy his divine favor when we acknowledge our sin, when we repent, and when we do what Jehovah wills, that's trust in Jesus, in Jesus alone, for our salvation. I hope you'll think about that.